I'm Jordan Evans. I study mathematics at OSU. And at the Open Source Lab, I'm a system administrator. So I am prim primarily in charge of taking care of servers and uh, helping communities that we host uh, host their code and helping them with problems that arise in doing that. So we have three types of students here. There's the system administrators, which I am one of. There are the developers. And then there's also a third type we started adding last year, which is actually a writer. Um, we have enough media coverage or um, articles that we want to write for conferences, talks, etc. Um, that we have one person doing that now too, which is really cool. So as a system administrator, I primarily work with the communities of code that we host. Um, so on a day-to-day -day basis, I could be replacing a hard drive in a server, I could be fixing something on the server, mostly just working with the servers. And then there's the developers. Those are the ones who actually go out and write code. Um, lately, they've been working on a really cool project called Gennetti Web Manager, uh, which is used in creating virtual machines and servers for other projects. Uh, so as a system administrator, I'm actually using their code that they've written, um, which is cool because then I get to give them feedback on how it's working or uh, blame them when it breaks, and then they go back and rewrite it and make it better. So one thing that makes the Open Source Lab unique from other um, projects development projects or hosting efforts is that it's almost entirely student driven. We have a handful of full timers, one full time system administrator, one full time developer, but a majority of the work is done by about a dozen Oregon State University undergrad students who work here. We're trained in, um, in all the types of skills that we need to either administer the systems or develop the code that the dev side does. There have been times, actually, when the OSL student devs, when we were between uh, full-time sys administrators, when the student devs have run everything, just kept things going smoothly for months on end. So that's the level of expertise that we're trained to. So I did my internship at Google. Uh, I started in June, and I just got back in September, a couple weeks ago. And while I was there, I worked on a couple of programs that monitored servers. Uh, one of which would collect data and then graph it. And so I wrote an interface uh, for the graphing system to display graphs that you could say, you know, this server's, something's going wrong with the server, here's a picture to tell you what's going on. Yeah, um, it was really cool because the project that I worked on while I was at Google was actually an open source project. Um, and it was an interface on top of a project that we use here. And so it was really cool to uh, sit down and look at the internals of the code that we use so much here and write code on top of that. Working at the Open Source Lab, I've been exposed to concepts and programming techniques far before I get to them in my um, regular curriculum. It's usually stuff that the curriculum touches on a little bit, but I'm actually applying it hands-on here at the OSL. That's been really great for me. I think the best part, though, has been the mentorship and the ability to interact with the kind of people that I would be working with in a software development profession. And that's really kept me motivated and just these really cool people who genuinely love to learn and write cool things both at work and in their free time has motivated me and encouraged me to continue with computer science despite challenges. When I graduate from Oregon State, rather than being a first-timer, someone who's maybe worked at a fast food place, worked at some uh, menial job around campus to pay their way through school, and has zero experience in their field, I'll have three years of professional level software development experience behind me. And that is something that no other program I've heard of can offer. Yeah, I think it's really great that the OSL is within the university because that gives us as students an opportunity for a real job that is something we can take out into the, the world after we're done with school and say, hey, I did this for, I've already done this, been doing this for four years. Um, and it's really awesome that it's kind of its own set of jobs that we don't have to compete with other people who have already gone to school. And it gives us a really good experience.